Get to talk about stress a little bit. Hy-Vee dietitian Julie Gallagher is here and how your diet can keep stress in your life to a minimum. We've got winter behind us that is not coming back until next year, <laughs> but now we're entering a new season that can bring some stressors. For me, it's spring sports and yes. schedules seem yep. to pick up, but there yep. are ways that we can kind of minimize that with our diet. Yes, I, I don't think stress ever goes away, but you know, stress can impact our lives and affect us, you know, eating healthfully. Yeah. And um, so, and it also also can affect our mental health. Mm -hmm. So it's important to, I'm going to try to discuss with you today five stress buster tips. So the first is I've got three different, I've got a snack and a breakfast and a dinner. Great. And so basically the tip here is that whether you eat a lot or don't eat a lot when you're stressed mm -hmm. is to try to find a balance in your meals. So trying to eat that less sugar in the meals. Sure. So we have our one of our pick of the months, good measure bar um, for a snack. Um, it's It breaks apart, it's got a lot of nuts and seeds in it, very low in sugar. So that's a good snack option. Um, for breakfast, um, it's, it's great to have that protein with every time that you eat. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have that yogurt, berries, and then have those healthy fats on top of that. And then for dinner, I made a um, shrimp and cauliflower rice, uh, fried rice. Sure. So kind of a, a good low carb balance, but still gives you the protein with the shrimp and uh, the veg. You know, the the shrimp and the. Um, um, <laughs> forgot what I was going to say on the last one there. But anyway, you can substitute the shrimp for chicken and other protein sources yeah, too. So it's a good mix. Good mix of stuff. So, um, and then the second thing um, is to um, add a plant to your meal. So I don't know if you like to garden or not. But uh, I like it. It doesn't like me back, but I very much like vegetables. <laughs> you well, know, it's good to, you know, for stress reliever, it's uh, vegetables are good. They yeah. give you lots of, and fruits too, they give you lots of antioxidants. And then if you're gardening, you have a better chance of eating more mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables. You're outside in the, uh, you know, in the sun, the, the, the air feels good on you. So sure. that can be a stress reliever. Um, the next thing is the tip is uh, hydration. Such an important tip because when I'm stressed, I don't sleep and then I overdo it on the caffeine and I yes. forget to drink my water. Yeah. Yes, so women need about um, about about nine cups a day, so that's about 72 ounces. Mm -hmm. So it keeps our processes going in our body. And also uh, men about 13 cups of, of water a day on average. Um, and then, so the fourth and the fifth um, uh, tip would be to uh, relieve the stress with getting in a routine to go to bed. You were talking about your sleep. Yeah. So important to have that seven hours of sleep at night. Use lavender, have a cup of tea, but get in that routine starting about 30 minutes before you go to bed. Um, and then um, I think, you know, sometimes reading a book, I've lit a candle over there, sometimes that can help too. Create your so, zen. Yes. Create, create that create routine. Zen. So, um, and I just wanted to, to point out that when you are cooking your vegetables, I forgot to mention that we, the chosen um, avocado oil is a good oil. It's very neutral. It can, you can add it to the roasted vegetables great. and we included it in our recipe there. So just uh, some good five tips to, to kind of get you Perfect. going and relieve that stress. Our high V dietitian are here for us. Julie, thank yes. you so thank much. Thank you very much. And stay with us. We'll be right back.